Good morning, sixth graders. Welcome to Math Lesson 85, Operation with Fractions and Decimals. Now, what we're going to do with this is solve when solving a fraction or solving a decimal, we want to get both of them speaking the same language. So, in other words, if I sit here and I try, I speak English to a person that does not speak English, they don't understand what I'm talking about. By the same token, if if I had you know, a Spanish person start talking to me and he only knows Spanish and start talks left and right Spanish to me, I have no clue what he's saying. So somehow we have to find a mutual common ground. Okay, so that's really what we're saying with this fraction and, de fraction and decimals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you right here two ways of solving this. I'm going to kind of blow it up even bigger so you can see it because I got the lights on because I'm going to turn it off here in a minute. All right, so, and what we have here is if, as a fraction, here's two beginning problems right here. Here and here. Same problem. Now, to that, starting off as a fraction, that means I need to convert my five-tenths into a decimal. So what they did is they took the five-tenths and changed it into a fraction. Five-tenths written two ways, decimal five or five over ten. One decimal place means I have one zero. That's what we've said before when we're looking at fractions to decimals. Okay, I have five tenths and I need to reduce it. And it came down to one half. All right, now we're ready to solve it because we have they can speak to each other because both are fractions. We have two, we have one half. And so I'm gonna set it up vertical. They didn't do it here, but I'm choosing to because I wanna make sure you see the work with it. One half plus one fourth. Find the common denominator. Common denominator is going to be 4, so I can write 4 out times 2, which is 4, and 1, and excuse me, times 2, times 1 is 2, and so now we have an answer of 3 fourths, which is what they get as well. 3 fourths and 3 fourths. That is with the decimal. Now, what you're going to have to watch through this process is they're going to start specifying. Write your answer as a fraction. Write your answer as a decimal. You have to pay attention. If you don't do that, it's minus one. Okay, so let's take a look at the decimal side. We have 0.5 and one fourth again. Okay, we change the one fourth into a decimal 0.25. Well, how do they do that? Well, let's take a look. Remember, top it, bottom into the top. So I'm going to change four into one, and then my same rule, two decimal places. Four and put my decimal up. 4 into 10 goes twice, which is 8. Bring my 0 down. 4 into 20 goes 5 times, 0.25. So now I've converted it into 0.25. Now it's setting it up to solve it. And again, line up the decimals you're adding. So I'm going to have 0.25 and 0.5. And fill an empty place with a 0. I'm ready to add. 5, and 5 plus 2 is 7. 0.75, and which is what they get. Again, I'm not too worried if you put the zero in front in all the answers in the, on the computer, I'll be just putting 0.75 for an answer. Also in math this week, I have found a math function to take your tests and so forth. Whenever you see the pre-test and final test, you're gonna use that math function. Now I'm gonna talk about that tomorrow morning and on Monday morning in chats with you as well. So it should work, I've got it set up, I'll I can't find any bugs right now, but anything can happen. All right, now, with that in mind, you have that. You have the two, two ways to look at it. Let's take a look at a different example. First off, I'll clean the board up. Okay. Okay, now, class, the next example is on, the, and the first example is on page 410. Example, now I'm looking at example two. On page 410, it says 1 half plus 0 0.03. And then in parentheses, if you notice, they want their answer in a decimal answer. So that means they don't want the fraction. They want a decimal. So you make sure your final answer is in a decimal form. All right, so I'm going to set that up a little bit here. Actually, the book's going to set it up. I'm just going to slide it up so you see the process. All right, so we first have 1 half plus 0.3. And we know our final answer is going to be, is going to be 0 0.8, but I'm going to walk through it. I need to convert it. One half, again, changes to, if I want to do it 
showing the work, which I recommend highly. Two zeros, two into 10 goes five times while well, we don't need the extra zero, so we're done. So it's 0 0.5. So now we have my 0 0.5, bring my, my 0 0.0, 0 0.3, and we have 0 0.5, maybe, plus 0.3, which equals 0.8. Remember, we line up the decimals when we add and subtract. So again, 0.8 is my final answer. And again, I don't need the zero. You don't need the zero there, it's not necessary. I don't worry about it too much because it has no value. But you do need the final. So your final answer is 0.8. And that would be a decimal form. So anyway, that is lesson 85. If you have questions about it, please make sure you're keeping track of if they're asking for decimal or if they're asking for fraction. Because that, you know, you say, well, that's right for a fraction. Well, that's, sorry, they're asking for a decimal answer. Follow the directions. So anyway, have a good day. We'll talk to you later.